Morning folks, how are we all doing? Hope you've all had a good Christmas. So, Saturday morning, uh, in the garage obviously, a few things to talk about. So, I've mentioned before that the gears on the Goff weren't changing properly and I was wondering if the gear cable was starting to fray where it comes out the lever at the top. By the way, a couple of rides ago I checked that and it's not, but in the meantime I'd ordered some new gear cables from eBay. So these are Clark's stainless steel um, gear cables. There's seven which I've got and I'll tell you how much they were. So I delivered, they were £10. So £10 and one pence from eBay. Divided by seven. So they were £1.43 each. I used to buy them from Neil in his shop and I used to get them at trade, you see. But now the, the, the new guy, he's got them for £6.99 or £6, over £6.50 anyway. So I bought seven off eBay, they'll keep me going for a bit. Also, because I changed the chain the other day, KMC chain, I bought two new KMC chains from Hopkinson Cycles. So these particular ones this time um, aren't in boxes, they're just in bags and they've got quick links but they are marked KMC somewhere times 10, KMC times 10. So they're just the bog standard KMC chains but for the winter bike and the turbo which I run 10 speed on, they're absolutely fine. So that means I've got three spur 10 speed chains like to keep one or two in stock of those then it's time to clean the bike we're going to go and look at the bike so it's outside walk this way so how's your year getting on how's your targets doing right so absolutely filthy after all these rides I don't know whether you can see in there we've got rust creep in here from this headset bearing so I'm going to have to look at that look at all the grit and grime and that's the new chain it's only done a few rides so let's give it a wash and do some maintenance before we get out again so yeah I'm gonna give it a good wash I'll get it in the stand and then I'm going to have a look at that head race. I'm probably going to change the headset. Not at the minute, but I'll probably order a new one. I'm going to put a cartridge headset in, I think. Because that's individual balls. Because I've been using the squirted degreaser stuff on the bike to get rid of all the oil marks and everything, it's probably got into that lower race. That's probably what's happened there. Um, to wash the bike, all I use is just hot water with some detergent in, just some uh, washing up liquid, give it a good wash, dry it off, so I'll do that and I'll come back to you when I've done that. And as if by magic, it's all clean. That's better isn't it? It's all been cleaned and re-lubed. I decided not to mess with the headset today because I've not got any new ball bearings of the correct size. So all I'm going to do with the headset is just order a new one and um, in the new year at some point I'll fit that, it's not too bad. It's just because I use the um, spray on degreaser to help get rid of all the road grime and it gets rid of the brake dust and everything really easily. So see you out on the road this afternoon when I will talk to you about 2019 targets and where we are. So see you later on the road. I know I said I'll see you out on the road, but I have just watched um, James Morrison, James Social Cycling, your latest vlog mate, and I thought I would show you how I put a cassette on or take a cassette off, because I think it's slightly easier, and I was shown this from Neil, this is how Neil does it, so I'll take you down that way onto the floor and I'll film and talk about what I do. A piece of wood. And I'm only doing that because the wheel that I'm going to use to demonstrate hasn't got a tyre on. So you can see, no cassette at the minute. Because my tools 
my lock ring tool is the old style it's a 24 mil and you have to hold it on with a quick release first of all just need to take the end of the quick release take the little spring out then this is a 10 speed hub 10 speed cassette going to line it up and you're going to put it on and then I'll take it off again so I'm sort of doing it backwards get the big one look for the big one slot it on there just bung all these on quick these are in the tray down here just to clean that one, lock ring. I don't put any oil or grease on those. There we go, put the lock ring tool in. I just do it hand tight. I put the end on through the quick release just to hold it in. And then I get my chain whip, if I'm undoing it, but I'm not, I'm tightening it up. 24 mil adjustable spanner put that on and all I do is I put the wheel in front of me on the piece of wood lean it against my legs I stand behind and I lean over I put that over the top and I just lean down on it and that's it to undo it obviously you've got to stop this rotating so you want to put your chain whip on, this is the one I made when I was a kid. Just put it on, I always put it on the biggest sprocket so you've got the most mechanical advantage. Rest it over. Get your lock ring tool in, however you do it. With your spanner or allen wrench or lever. Hold them with both arms above, one either side, roughly two o'clock and ten o'clock and just push down on both and literally you just lean on it and that's it and then you're not damaging work surfaces or anything like that it's just on the floor so now I will see you back on the bike so I'll see you later so I'm out on the bike then as I said I would see you out on the bike just out for a very gentle recovery ride today because I'm not meant to be riding today but I need to for my target for the year. So I will have mentioned before that my aim, my target for the 2019 is 10,000 miles for the year. And as of today, I am roughly 50 miles behind so 83 kilometers behind four days left of riding so yeah four days left of riding I'm on about and I'm 50 miles behind 83k so I'm just coming out today I just want to do an easy flat recovery ride about 40k so I've got about 33 miles a day and for festive 500 i've done 270 so i've got 230 left i've got 216k left for my 10,000 mile target it's 16,093 kilometers or 10,000 miles is my target for the year so hang on going left I've got two, 216 left to do, so I can ride today, I can ride tomorrow, I can ride Monday, Tuesday, I might have to stay in and wait for an engineer to come for the extract to hob on the, in the kitchen, it's making a silly noise, and while it's still under guarantee after having the kitchen done, somebody's coming out to look at it so yeah how are your targets doing for the year are you on target have you beaten them 
<coughs> I know not everybody does the festive 500 and this year I wasn't really setting out to do it it wasn't one of my aims but as soon as I'm so close to it for my target for the year distance wise anyway I might as well do it so once I've hit my 10,000 miles I'll have 14 miles no 14 kilometers left to do to do it so I might as well nearly there so tomorrow like obviously today the weather's a lot better than it has been it's a lot clearer you can see that way it's a lot clearer it's warmer it's milder it would be a good good day for riding but so tired legs wise I think my TSB is about minus 17 something like that so I'll recover a bit today and try and hit a bigger ride tomorrow do at least 100k if not more tomorrow and then try and finish it on Monday with just a little bit left on Tuesday we'll see and as soon as it's milder today it's like nine degrees I've come out with the Santic bib tights on that they sent me to try um, I have worn them on one of a ride earlier in the week I used them for a 50 mile ride and the padding was okay but because it was a colder day I didn't have them on on their own I put a pair of those cheap bib tights that I got from Planet X last year earlier this year in a sale that paid 30 quid for them, no padding so the two together put me on wall and was okay but whether you can see or not they do rock up quite a bit at the back of my knee the legs are quite long for me but these supposedly are suitable for between 22 and 12 degrees centigrade and it's probably about 10 or 9 today let's see what the temperature says 7.9 so I've brought a pair of old leg warmers with me just in case I do get cold but at the minute they're all right we're doing some work on this power line to the left so on an update on the Ferrero Asio more duos that I've got I've been in contact with support and there's been a few emails backwards and forwards and I think I mentioned that they asked me to put them on charge for 16 hours which I did they're already fully charged but that didn't work and then they said from that they could tell that when I connect them to the app they could tell there was funny readings coming from the left power sensor so to help them understand it they asked for photographs of the pedals which I did from multiple angles including the end cap which I did and sent to them and if you've watched all my vlogs or followed my vlogs you might remember that in a race I did at Tudor Grange I hit the left pedal on the ground and took a chunk out which I told them I said that was me but the end cap is still in plastic still intact and had not had issues until just this week and then they came back and said yep yeah, end cap it's fine that small chip in the plastic isn't an issue um, what they'd need to do to sort of investigate further is have that pedal sensor bike that left spindle but what they've said they've already got clearance for was to send me a a new free left pedal spindle which is the sensor under warranty but because I didn't buy it directly from them I bought it from a reseller so I bought them from cycleparameters.com in the UK then in rugby Bob thank you Bob I've been using your stuff for a long time um, what they've said they'll do is send me out a new one 
free of charge I've just got to pay the postage 16 euros which I've done so I'm just waiting for that to arrive now it'll probably take about a week with new year and everything maybe a bit longer hang on busy road now speak to you in a bit so yeah whilst I've <coughs> got to change the spindle while I'm at it I'm also going to order a set of bearings for them because I've not changed the bearings yet and I've had them 15 months so I nearly saw the fly back there which made me <coughs> cough excuse me about Whitaker Waterworks to the left. We're just going over the railway bridge. Yeah, I'll order some new bearings and change the bearings, and then they'll be good to go. Right, top of the hill. We've just stopped at the entrance to Middleton Hall, and we used to start our time trials from here at one point. Just at this bus stop, just here. do a five for me and I think we sometimes used to do a ten as well anyway stop because my neck is hurting but I wanted to make sure my wheels were in the frame properly after having it in the stand because I've not I've forgotten to do it they were okay as it happens but anyway we're gonna get back on the move we've gone 59 minutes and 24.8 kilometers so I'm gonna head back So I'm not far from being home now. I'm desperate for the toilet. That's one of the problems with cycling in the daytime. If you cycle at night, you can easily stop in the gateway. A bit more difficult during the day, particularly when you're on a busy road or busier. Anyway, at the minute, my right knee is sore. And I usually get that when I haven't been stretching properly after the rides I'm going to have to have a good stretch afterwards the bib tights, the Santic bib tights have certainly been warm enough even though it's probably only 8 degrees which is colder than they say they are for but they do rock up behind my knees to be fair to them most bib tights do that with me it's because I've only got little legs I've got a 29 inner leg um, the padding in the bib tight seems okay the chamois the artificial chamois it's not too bad I don't think it's brilliant but it's not too bad either so I'll feed back to you more when I've used them more yeah, nearly back so we'll have another 40k towards the total in a zone one or recovery ride I've got 124 watts of normalized power so it's well in my zone one zone two for me starts I think it's 163 164 165 that sort of thing so I've just been pootling along so we're coming up to 40 miles, 40 kilometers, sorry, 25 miles, and I'm an hour and 37 minutes. So I will take the camera tomorrow when I head out tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year to everybody. I'll remember to say that now. All the best for 2020. And I'll see you in the next vlog.